Hello everyone and welcome to another week of Fallout 4 Mods. This week we got Mr. Cuddlesworth. Let's get started. Deadpool Sword by Isht007. This brings Wade Wilson's weapon into Fallout, a simple but lovely sword. This weapon has a damage of 48 and a swing speed of fast. Asian Weaponry by Sithis31. More pointy pieces of weaponry, this collection adds 5 handheld weapons and 5 shurikens for hitting faraway enemies. Handheld weapons are the Bow Staff, Kanabo, Naginata, Sickle, and the Tekokaji. The five types of shurikens are Regular, Black, Electric, Flaming, and Poison. A nice variety of weapons and unique as well. 1022 Pistol by Bloodmeat08. A unique looking weapon, the 1022 has a number of mods for you to put on it and get outside. That's right, kid. You go outside and play with your guns. You've got eight receivers, two magazines, two sights, a suppressor, and an option to convert to 44 or 10 millimeter. Trench gun by Akanami. A boost up from a pistol, the trench gun can be adjusted for a number of situations. You've got eight receivers, four barrels, six stocks, two magazines, six sights, four muzzles, a shell holder, and an option for either buckshot or slugs. IF-54 Battle Rifle Redux by Skibida. Another reimagining of past weapons, Skibida has done it again with the IF-54. The new textures look fantastic and the number of mods is just as impressive. There are 20 receivers, 13 in 308 and 7 in 5mm, 5 muzzles, 5 barrels, 6 stocks, 10 magazines, 14 sights slash scopes, including two see-through combat scopes, four ammo types, seven materials, and a deployable bipod attachment on two of the barrels. Kami Starter Pack by Skumaface. If your child's wanting to get started as a Kami, then this mod's perfect for them. Included is a small cellar located in one of the sanctuary houses. Inside you'll find dozens of new items and collectibles, two armor sets, a new melee weapon, decorations, and recipes for your chem station. There's also an old USSR embassy in Good Neighbor, but my game kept crashing unfortunately, so not sure if that's a problem with my mods or the mod itself. If your kid isn't a commie after this mod, then I don't know what to tell you. Atom Girl Outfit CBBE by Deserter X. This outfit is a bit on the skimpy side, but when I saw this one part, I fell in love. A nuclear teddy bear. That's right, a metal teddy bear that gives you 20 rads every single time you put it on. Yeah, there's a fishnet outfit so you can look at your own tits, but did I mention the nuclear teddy bear? And yeah, there is a large selection between ripped, non-ripped skirts and tops and an option for a hunting rifle, but I don't think you understand. There's a teddy bear that's metal. And yes, you probably will win the most scantily clad prize at your holiday office party, but there's a teddy bear that gives you 20 radiation when you wear it, okay? This should be called Adam Girl Teddy Bear. Also, you can't wear the teddy bear as a man. Mr. Cuddlesworth by JJ2197. If you're tired of waiting for me to make a montage that brings the gang to the Commonwealth, then you can fix that yourself. Mr. Cuddlesworth is located in Sanctuary with his top hat included, may I add. Very special, very important. Simply talk to him and ask him to follow. He's just like any other companion. You can tell him to grab things, go certain places, and attack people. And after you ask him to follow, he'll immediately throw dirt in your face and get stuck in a doorway. Ah, uh, good old Cuddles. KG's Chain Link Fences by Kitty Gimmick. If your eyes start to puss and bleed every time you look at those disgusting fences, oh, what the fuck, man, Jesus Christ, then KG's fences will bring new meaning to your life. With options for 1K, 2K, or 4K if you're from the future. Bye-bye, gross fences. Hello, beautiful. Wall Pass-Through Power Conduits by Day Dragon. This allows you to snap a power conduit onto another so a current can go through a wall. As you can see here, they have versions that go vertically and horizontally. Horizontal has three different lengths, and vertical has only one, I do believe. But really cool, simple mod, and gets rid of a problem I didn't realize I had. Push Away Companions by C. Dante. Frequently, companions are pretty clueless when inside. Can, can you please move? Please, I just... I need to get... Okay. 
Now simply hit R when companions are a bit too close, and they'll move a little bit further away. Move. Survival Outposts, Frost compatible by good old Ben Effla. Survival playthroughs are brutal and any help is welcomed. Of course, you don't want an unfair advantage, but something right in the middle. Survival Outposts currently provide two locations that were set up by vault Tech employees who did not get into the vaults during the war. Outposts 114 and 111 are near their respective vaults and both provide a bit of help in a cold, cold world. We admire we! Pony Raiders can by Total Tempo. If you can't stand ponies and just want to blow them away at every chance you can get, then Pony Raiders will transform every raider in the Commonwealth into a life-size target. Feel free to chop, shoot, and blow them away to your heart's content. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this week's Fallout 4 mods. As always, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you in the future. Away!